Welcome to my channel, A Cup of Tea with Krista Joy. Today, I do have some tea, but first, make sure that you click subscribe so you can get recipes and advice about coaching and weight loss and my experience with breast cancer and tea. Today, I have a special guest. Meet Danny. She is one of our uh, rescues. We have two rescues. She is a silky and she is a tender, sweet little thing. She gets to experience getting out of the house. She goes to preschools and gets to visit. Her old owner comes and visits sometimes. She's also the most tame, hence, I bring her with me. <laughs> Yeah, Danny, I know. Now she is a silky, like I said. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you show you off a little bit, girl. Yeah. So silky. <laughs> Silkies have feathers here on their head. She has feathers on her feet and she is very light. She she lays little tiny brown, light brown eggs. Today we're talking about chickens and the joy of chickens. But first, tea. I did bring tea outside with me. Today I brought an unusual one. This one, um, it's really cool. I don't get to use it often enough, but it's called Steepware. And if you can see down there, there's the strainer and I put the tea, it opens up at the bottom, the loose leaf, and then you fill it at the top. It's glass so it holds its heat really well with the cork around it. It is delightful. Today, I'm drinking a tea from one of my favorite local tea places. It's called Tea Source. Here's tea and it's strawberry rooibos. It actually works really well as a iced tea too, but I'm not ready for iced tea yet. Hey everyone, meet Oddball. She is one of our other rescuers. She is a Polish. She came to us because she was also being pecked at at her old place. And we have a lot of different ones, so she came to visit us. She's got um, kind of a bare head. <laughs> She's very odd looking. Did you know? In most cases, if you look at a chicken's... Oh, yes, I know. You'll get a second. If you look at their earlobes, it'll give you a hint of what color eggs they have. So this is her earlobe right here. And she lays these beautiful oblong, tiny white eggs. So she. So this is star. It's interesting because all of our chickens have very different personalities. Star is the one that most frequently will get out of our back area, and she is an adventurer. We found her in the front yard sometimes. Not always sure how she gets there. She is definitely close to the top of the pecking order. And yes, a pecking order is something they do have to arrange when you get new chickens. So they always tell you, <laughs> they always tell you to make sure that you give them a chance to get used to each other and establish their pecking order. She, she and Storm Pooper are at the top. When we got Danny and Oddball, we had to give them a chance to get introduced to the chicken, other chickens. We expected them to get pecked at when they got in. Some people will let them experience some time with each other, like caged near, near each other for a bit, just so they can get used to each other, but also in case that new chicken is bringing in um, some kind of disease, you, are, you can adjust for that. Here is their run. So we, we have a run that we lock them up into at night with their coop there. During the day, we have decided that they don't need to have our whole backyard, but they do have the back area here. There's Oddball, there's Star, Henrietta, and I always forget her name. <laughs> My daughters will have to help. That's Storm Pooper, and that's Darth Maul. Yes, Storm Pooper and Darth Maul and Star. They all have uh, <laughs> Star Wars names. So when you have chickens, they do like to have a lot of space. And so we have this run. Um, they like to hide, so we give them chances to hide. That's our old Christmas tree. We have it above and below secured because uh, critters do like to come on in. 
Hello, Henrietta. So here is our run. There is Danny. She's hiding underneath. We have eagles and hawks in our neighborhood, so we make sure that they get ample opportunities to be able to hide. We like to hang uh, their food. It's, it's a little easier to keep it clean. Well, I'll have to find where this was again, and I'll put the link in here. This was brilliant. It was, I found it somewhere and it keeps it a, the mess a lot more contained. And then we also have water here in Minnesota. Uh, we have to keep the waters heated uh, over the winter and the fall and the spring. Right now it's not plugged in. We have found that this, this works the best for us. It's a separate heated base. There are some waters that you plug in itself. We felt that that was a little more challenging for us. We really, really love this kind of water. We have lots of places for them to roost. We even have some toys for them. <laughs> we have some pallets here for them to roost up on too. When it gets really cold, we don't usually heat them unless it's like bitterly cold, but we don't usually, but we will close them in. So we have a nice little lock area so that they can keep warm in the winter. But generally they stay they just don't like the snow a whole lot <laughs> hi ladies i love that i can just open this up and i have access inside i can see if everyone is in for the night so we have a nesting box that's on the outside this i love that i can access this and just open it up and let's see oh look at there's an egg that is a danny egg look how cute it is Oh, it's just cute little tiny egg. Chickens are totally worth it. They're easy. They're like easy like a cat. You set out enough food and water for them for the weekend and they're fine. We do have neighbors that love to check on them, which is always fun, collect their eggs, but generally they don't have to do much. The setup cost is pretty, can be pretty high and set up time. Um, but after that, we've taken a very low key approach to having our chickens yes we bring in the food every night you know we check their water every day we check their food every day we let them just in, just let them out in the back here i know a lot of people really feel strongly about what they feed them really chickens are omnivores we'll feed them table scraps mealworms any grubs and worms that we find in the garden we'll give we have once found one of our chickens caught a mouse and that was crazy exciting to watch. Uh, we'll crush up their eggshells and give it to them. And they're just really easy animals to take care of. So if you can take care of a cat, you can take care of chickens. So we have a above ground pool that needs repair. However, our coop is right behind it. So this was my brilliant idea this year is I have created a chicken tunnel. So this is my garden over here that it's still a work in progress, but my chicken tunnel, now they can go underneath the pool deck and, um, and safely, and it's, it's a nice area for them to go into. And then we have a compost area that they've been scratching in. This will go into my garden pretty soon. I, I love that they can get out and they can get around. They have their cute little chicken tunnel. Yep, there's Oddball checking out. Going through the chicken tunnel. Hi, lady. So things I love about chickens, their eggs. There is nothing like a fresh chicken egg. They're so colorful and so cool. Other things I love about chickens, their personalities. They, <laughs> they're very curious about what we're doing over here. They all have their own personalities. Like Danny is very calm and sweet, but she is not Lois in the pecking order. Actually, Oddball is. She is our newest one. We got her in November. <laughs> like I said, Star is our adventure someone. Some of them just like to peck and um, are a little more shy. Some are very hard to catch. Um, and so it's really fun to see see that come out in them. Other things I love about chickens are their colors. So there's my tiny Danny egg. Oh, here is my oddball egg. See how she's oblong? I just love it. Speckled Sussex. You can see there's specks on it. And so they're just so fun and so beautiful. Did you know that 
in Europe. You don't, they don't come washed because there's something on the egg called a bloom and it protects the the pores of the eggshell. And so if you wash them, you have to refrigerate them. We don't wash our eggs until we are ready to give them away. We don't wash our eggs because of the, of the bloom on it. And then we'd have to <laughs> leave room in the fridge, which we don't have room. So we might as well just uh, keep them unwashed. Look at the difference between that egg and that egg. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> difference between a big chicken and a small chicken. The other joy of having eggs that are beautiful like this is you can gift them. Um, I do sell them sometimes, but usually I gift them to people and they always love eggs, especially these days. Once in a while, you get something extra special. Look at that. Often, it's called a fairy egg. Oftentimes, it'll come with a new chicken laying. Um, it's just kind of one of those like crazy things that just happen. Also, if they haven't laid in a while, that'll often happen. Usually, they don't have a yolk in them. They're just an egg white. They're safe to eat, but they're really teeny tiny. 